hello and welcome to this new video in this video I'm going to show you how to increase uh, the, the size of the swap partition in Linux and specifically CentOS 8 Linux so what you see here is my uh, CentOS uh, 8 machine that is running on uh, VMware workstation so it's a virtual machine and I want to extend its swap partition so let's see uh, what's the size of swap partition so if you type lsblk you will see uh, the sizes of the different uh, volumes that you have so as you can see in the root partition I have well in total I have 33 gigabytes for this virtual machine 1 gigabyte is for the boot uh, partition and 32 gigabytes is for is for the uh, swap and root root takes 28 of those 32 gigabytes and swap takes 3 gigabytes of the 32 so let's say I want to add 1 gigabyte to the uh, swap partition so how, how would I do it so first of all I need to make 1 gigabyte available so I need to uh, shut down the uh, virtual machine and then expand its uh, hard disk size so if I go to uh, settings and then hard disk and do expand let's say I'm going to make it 34 like this and then click expand it's going to take a minute or so to do this now that my uh, disk space has been expanded I click OK and then OK and then I power on my virtual machine so as you can see this is running on VMware workstation now that my machine has started if I do ls blk as you can see the new size of my uh, disk is 34 gigabytes so in order to add this extra one gigabyte to the swap partition I can do everything via command line of course but we are going to use a, a tool that is called uh, zip parted that's going to help us uh, simplify the process so if you don't have gparted and you want to install it you do dnf install apple release and i of course i have to be uh, root or sudo word so i'm going to do sudo and it is uh, already installed and then I do sudo dnf install gpart and it is already installed for me as well so to launch gpart you do gpart and then your password the root password of course so what I want to do here is add this uh, free one gigabyte of space to the SDA2 partition because SDA2 is the one uh, that has the root logical partition and uh, or logical volume and the swap logical volume. So to do that, I right click on uh, the SDA2. So right click and then I do resize move and then I scroll this arrow here to say how much uh, disk space I want to add I want to add the whole gigabyte <laughs> it's not much anyway so and then I do resize so it is already done so to apply the changes you click on this uh, sign here to apply all the operations and then apply close and then you close this and as you can see SDA2 has now 33 gigabytes 
I close two part it and then I go back here so as you can see as you as you can see here SDA2 had 32 gigabytes so now if I do LS BLK here now it is 33 gigabytes so the three uh, the, the one gigabyte that I have added is now here but I need to do extra commands extra work to add it to this swap partition so how to do that so in order to confirm the size of the swap partition you can do free dash m and you can see that the swap partition is uh, 3.2 gigabytes indeed so the first thing we need to do is disable swapping on this volume while we work on it because we cannot work on it and it has data of course so to do this we do swap off minus v forward slash dev forward slash uh, cl sorry forward slash mapper forward slash cl swap why cl swap because this is the name of the partition okay And of course, I need to be root to perform this operation. So I'm going to copy the command. I'm going to copy it. And then I, I switch to the root uh, user. Sorry, I did LSL. No, switch user minus L. My password. And then I type my command here. And now the swapping is disabled. So this is the first step. Next step, we are going to extend the, uh, the swap partition with the one gigabyte that we have. So let's do LV extend dash capital L plus one G, which means one gigabyte, and then forward slash dev forward slash. cl forward slash swap so it is it says here that it is uh, resized successfully and if you want to understand where this uh, cl comes from if you do lvs which is going to show the logical volumes you can see that the logical volume swap sits on the uh, volume group cl so cl is the name of the volume group if your volume group is named dif differently so you put here uh, the name of your volume group okay now that we have uh, recreated uh, sorry that now that we have extended our logical uh, volume swap we need to recreate it on the extended volume so to do that we need to use a command uh, called make swap mk swap forward slash dev forward slash mapper forward slash cl swap okay and now we have recreated our uh, swap volume next we tur we turn swapping back on the extended swap volume and we do it via this command swap on dash v forward slash dev forward slash mapper forward slash cl swap hit enter and then and now swapping is on and now let's check that we have that extra one gigabyte space in the swap uh, volume so if we do three dash m as you can see we have now 4.2 gigabytes instead of 3.2 and as well if we do ls blk we can also that we can also see that we have now 4 gigabytes here so that's it guys this is how you uh, extend the swap uh, volumes with uh, very clear and easy uh, steps i hope this video has helped you and thank you for watching